Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today we're gonna talk about PS4 Slims that overheat. So one question that I get all the time on my YouTube videos as well as on my website is, my PS4 Slim is too hot, what should I do? So there's two things that I think of when I try to answer that question and one is, is your PS4 Slim actually too hot or does it just feel hot? We know from my temperature testing video of playing the PS4 Slim for five hours and then checking the temperature that these get pretty hot. We know that the output air on the PS4 Slim gets to 130 degrees Fahrenheit and 54 degrees Celsius after five hours of gaming. So of course, if you put your hand here where the hot air is, it's gonna feel warm. So that's the first thing I always talk about when I'm answering this question is, is your PS4 Slim actually overheating? And if it just feels warm to the touch, but you're not getting any error codes, the red light is not coming on up here near the power button, then your PS4 Slim is actually not overheating. It's just completely normal. These things get warm because as most of you probably know, there's a APU chip right here on the motherboard. It's a combination of the CPU and GPU, and this chip has a lot of computing power and it's gonna get warm. The PS4 Slim has a pretty good cooling system, but it's still gonna feel warm to the touch. These things are fairly powerful machines when it comes to computing power, so they're gonna get warm. Now let's talk about the other thing though. What does it look like when it actually is overheating? So when a PS4 Slim is actually overheating, what it's gonna do is it's going to show the red light right here on your power button where the LEDs are. It's gonna give you an error on the screen saying it's too hot, and then it's also gonna beep three times fairly loudly, and then it's gonna turn itself off. So unless your PS4 Slim is doing that, it's not actually overheating. Those are the symptoms of one that's actually overheating. And while that's easy for me to explain, it's much easier if you just see it in person. So I'm gonna rig up this PS4 Slim to overheat and I'll record it so you can see what it actually looks like when your PS4 Slim is overheating. I'm gonna make it so it shows you the red light of death, it'll do the beep and all that so you can see exactly what it'll do. And there's the three beeps. And it is just shut off and I wasn't able to watch the light on there. I'm assuming it turned red like normal. That's what it looks like when a PS4 Slim actually overheats. Now I do have a TV down here. It does give the error that it is too hot. So that's what you get when a PS4 Slim actually overheats. It actually works the same for the original PS4 as well as the PS4 Pro. So naturally the next question is, how do you prevent this from happening? You wanna make sure that your PS4 doesn't overheat, what are, what are some good practices to make sure that that doesn't happen? The first thing is to make sure there's good airflow. Make sure there's nothing around the sides. The PS4 Slim gets its air intake air from right here. So the air on the sides um, is where it gets the cool air from. And then it goes through the fan inside and spits it out the back of the console over on this side. So this side is gonna be the hottest part because this is where the hot air goes out of the console. So the first thing is just making sure that it's well in a well ventilated area up like on top of a desk or a TV stand or something like that. It's best to not put other consoles on top of it or under it, but usually if you do, it's not that big of a deal. It's not gonna cause overheating, but that could just make it so it's a little bit hotter. So if you're in a dusty environment or a hot environment or something like that, you're gonna want to make sure that there's nothing on top or around it and that will just ensure that it's getting good cool air into the console. So the second thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure of is that your console's not getting really dirty. If you live in a dirty, dusty environment, you're gonna to wanna to be cleaning it quite often. The other thing with the PS4 Slim is it's actually easy to get to the fan to blow it out with canned air or however you wanna do it. I will link our fan cleaning video right up on the top so you can see that video to see how easy it is to clean the fan. Now, if you live in a dusty environment, you haven't cleaned it very much and you can see there's a lot of dust and dirt, I would recommend to go ahead and fully disassemble the console until you can get to the heat sink. Because what a lot happens a lot of times is it builds up a layer of dust and hair and debris right on the front of the heatsink right here. And that makes it so the fan just can't push air through it like it normally would to cool it down. The other thing while you're in there is you're gonna come to this part of the heatsink and this is where the thermal paste is. 
the APU chip goes right up against this and there's thermal paste in between and you're going to want to replace that thermal paste because usually what happens if you're in a dirty dusty environment your PS4 Slim gets hot this is going to the thermal paste is going to dry out and you're going to want to just replace that normally bad thermal paste just itself will not cause overheating but in some extreme cases it can do that i'm going to show you guys a quick clip of cleaning a heat sink that has been almost completely plugged with dirt and hair and debris so you know what that looks like and you can see exactly what i'm talking about So that concludes our PS4 Slim overheating video. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comments section and I'll get to them as soon as I can. I have links for most of the tools and equipment I use in my repair shop in the description section. And if you have a PS4 Slim or any PS4 or Xbox that is overheating or have, has other problems, you're always welcome to send it in to my repair shop, tronicsfix.com, and we can get it fixed up for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video and let me know what other videos you want to see on my channel.